okay this is the watt meter this is uh, okay you can use it for both ac and dc note it down uh, after you for con before connecting the watt meter you need to take care of the rate the ratings okay three ratings would be first one would be the amperage that is ammeter rating second one is the voltage rating that is voltmeter and third is the power factor which whether to use upf or lpf okay a thumb of rule would be good that uh, for any for any circuit where you use a watt meter if it is open if it is open on the secondary side then it's always uh, lpf watt meter this one is a uh, upf 1p power factor so for closed circuits you use upfs but for open circuits you use lpf if you just remember this you will not fall into any confusion furthermore these ratings are not the actual wattage ratings here if these, these ratings are not the wattage ratings actually you have to multiply by a factor known as the multiplying factor for the watt meter you can know you can come to know about the multiplication factor for the watt meter from the connections which you have done if you just uh, note here it is like a table cross reference table okay for example if it is operated up for 300 volts and less than 5 amps the multiplication factor is 1 if it is for 300 volts and up to 10 amps the multiplication factor is 2 similarly for 600 it's just quite the double for 600 volts 5 amps it is multiplication factor is 2 and for 600 volts up to 10 amps the multiplication factor is 4 by what i mean by that is Assuming for example if your multiplication factor has come out to be 2 the ratings the readings which you take on this watt meter scale has to be multiplied by the multiplication factor before incorporating the readings for calculations for example if uh, the multiplication factor is 2 and here the rating the reading is around 400 watts say okay if it is 400 watts and the multiplication factor is 2 then the wattage read by this watt meter is 400 times 2 which is your 800 watts so this is how you need to take care of about the watt meter readings and also this is can this can be used for both ac and dc but your volt meter and your ammeter are uh, specifically designed for two different types so before you take it from the cupboard kindly see whether it is ac or dc since you are already you are operating all the experiments in this semester for uh, alternating current you are using ac okay so this is how you need to take care of it and uh, kindly avoid any short circuit before uh, switching on the supply see that there are no loose ends so that you, uh, whether you may get shock or anything so that there are no loose ends and the wires which you are using are completely insulated and uh, for example in the uh, experiments like your Sumpner's test or Scott connection where there are a lot of wires used do it with the least speed possible so that you can get maximum accuracy so that one wire do not does not short with the other wire and you are completely left out of the experiment so take it slow do it a, take cursory reading and always connect your ratings of all the instruments above the required one if you are requiring to measure above 10 amperes so kindly use the ammeter of greater than 10 amperes on, for example, if you want to read a voltage of 415 volts in your three phase case, always connect your voltmeter across the 600 volt terminal because it's always safe to measure the lower power or lower voltage of measurement rather than increasing the value and damaging the instrument. Thank you.